Uh, Sophia, good to see you again. And uh, from last week when I saw you, I noticed right away that first song, you just commanded the stage. I mean, I don't know if you were thought about it at all, what we were talking about, but you stepped up and set your presence to the whole evening. You guys are, you guys are awesome. Like a great, great supporter very well back there and everything's going on tight. You walked right out, hit a strong song early. That first song, Danger, really the way to capture these guys. And these guys are like me. I'm, I, I think I was thinking about it. It was like, since last Wednesday when I saw you, I've listened to 150 different bands that have sent me music. I went to three live shows this last week, and I keep kind of thinking back to that, and then what you guys played last week, and then this week, and that even one week development, like, you're super impressive, and I think, who would like to speak? Because, uh, Del would, yeah. Because I'm the token old guy. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> He'd like to speak about the Zeppelin song because actually he used to tour with him. You know what? And that was a great version of that song. One thing for the drummer, bottom on the fourth, on the dun 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 and out, bottom on the bop bop. Two hits on the snare. That's a great part of Bonham's legacy. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not a drummer. Am I right? Somebody was going to say it. Uh, you guys seem really young. I mean, am I? Yeah. That's a good thing. I mean, for those kind of arrangements. Five, four time, seven, eight time. I mean, really, that's pretty amazing, right? Right? I mean, yeah. And, and, and the mix was really good too. I mean, I could hear everybody. I thought you guys did a great job playing on stage together. Both guitar players, you know, and good presence, great voice. I thought too. So it's only complimentary, and I'll, I'll like what, what Kevin said, you know what I mean? I didn't see you before this, but very, very impressive. This guy looks like a rock star, I mean, right there, you got that up. Y'all look good, but um, anyway, keep it up, you know? It's, it's very impressive for young musicians, you know? I, I was in the guitar business my whole life, and, um, you know, bands got away from playing guitar. For a lot of times, right, there was a, you know, and that's nothing wrong with that. But it's so cool to see young artists get up there and play, and also play homage to the greats like Led Zeppelin. So great job, you guys. Great job. Just real quick, um, I was a little nervous when I saw you came out because you had a Gibson and an orange amp. I thought, oh boy, I hope it's not too big for him. But you killed it. You're a great guitar player. You're totally a rock star. You totally, totally just use that amplifier to its max. So congratulations on that. You're real good. For me, for like the first few songs, were really like. They had hints of like Black Sabbath and kind of hard metal. So in that kind of music, it's the band did a fine job. I like a more mature kind of voice for that. And you tend to have a little bit of a poppy voice, but that last song that you did, that was a more poppy version. Let me tell you, I've got three songs in the movie Freaky Friday. I work with Disney. I work with all the teen shows, the Warner Brothers stuff. And so that song, if you write songs like that and you're singing, you're playing like that, that was your best, best song. That's radio friendly, that's television friendly. So congratulations on that song. If you get more songs like that, come see me and him. Congratulations. Um, School of Rock, Jack Black would be proud. <laughs> Probably your favorite movie, right? Nice, nice. No, you know what? I thought every kid listened to One Direction and Justin Bieber and Katy Perry, but you, I mean, rock's not dead, obviously. Yeah. Yes, keep it going, keep it going. Nice job. No, seriously, you guys, awesome. Um, I totally agree with her. The closer, you pick the best song for last. That had a great balance of everything that you guys do, but it was a great song as well. And you guys nailed it, it was awesome. And I, as far as Ryan goes, I'd probably let him off the hook. Actually, no. Ryan actually wears tighter pants than you on stage. I agree with Bob. All right, we're in 2015, not 1992. So you guys look great. Great drummer, man. For real. You yeah. hold it together. Hold it together, man. I'm actually surprised that none of the drummers have even um, changed the setup. They just all left it like that. Because if I was going up there, I would change the way I'd want to play on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, great, great feel, great everything. So, yeah, how old are you? 13. You're 13 years old? Okay, killing it. Yeah, uh, she's the older they, everyone else is probably, I'm right, middle school? Raise your hand, middle school, up this side, right here? And one person in high school, right here. So look at that, guys, you know, that's pretty, like, we're critiquing, like, 
I think, I mean, if you're in middle school and high school, that takes a lot to do anything, get on stage, do anything. So give a big hand for that, you guys. And, uh, the I'm thinking your voice is amazing. It's, it stands out so much. You hit every single note, which is so fantastic. And I really enjoy the way that that was able to be, uh, it's accented by the rest of your band, too. You guys are all great players overall. I think the only thing that I would say to you guys is just look unified. I think that there's red and black, yes, but like overall, just keep it, keep it unified overall. You look great. And you do have to realize, Dakota is in a band, and we talked about changing the name of bands. He's actually in a band called Naked Walrus. So, <laughs> talk about needing to change the name of a band a bit once in a while, so. Thank you guys, you guys, it, seriously, it just, if I could have time to like, there's a couple bands up here, Justin, you, but two, you know, just, if I had two, like I said, I want to be a manager again, I used to be a manager and manage bands and we did a lot of things, I go, these are you know, two bands that I would like to take under my wing and just kind of work through and be patient and do it, but you know, it's like I got 9,000 other things right now, but you know, it's like, you guys are cool. Hey, you've got a pool party, um, we'll get out your address or you're gone, so we're all going to be at the pool party. But you guys, great job, let's hear one more time for the local rebellion. Alright, don't go anywhere because in just a minute, we're having our next band called the Alley K Band. And you're going to love them. So are you guys ready for the next band? Alright, don't go anywhere.